Hey everyone, MSX here, and looking at the date, we are halfway through January, and I have not posted a single video since December, so I'm thinking, hey, why not channel update? Uh, most of the stuff will be practically spontaneously thought of on the spot, but at least I know a slight idea what I'm going to say because I recorded this before and then right as I was going to upload I was like oh wait I forgot to mention one thing curse you faulty memory anyways so yeah happy 2013 to everyone even though I know it's late since we're halfway through January time flies anyways so what is to come well first off I'll Guess I'll say we'll be coming up the soonest, probably, or it's gonna be more practical to get done soon. LPs. Um, I do plan on doing Sonic Unleashed on the Xbox 360, mostly because it's one of my favorite Sonic games. In terms of the modern games, I actually like that one the most. Yes, I do put it above Sonic Generations. Sorry, I just do not like modern Sonic's ice physics, and with all due respect to Sega trying to make classic Sonic run or feel like it in the classic games, it's sort of a very strange Frankenstein feel that he has in Generations that's just like, I don't know how to describe it, it's just sort of like a very irkful point of the, where his Generation physics are. Something that I just don't like about him. Anyways, so I shall be doing Sonic Unleashed on the 360 pretty soon. It's definitely a project I feel I can get through in, within a decent amount of time since I have played through the game a couple times. One being, of course, when I bought the game, and then another time being when the almighty 360 decided to red ring and wipe out almost everything on my hard drive. Ironically, one thing was not deleted from my hard drive, and that one thing was Sonic 06's save data. What sense the make? I guess bad game and bad save file means it's somehow immune to a bad corruption of a drive? I don't know. Curse you launch model 360s? Anyways, Considering I have played through the game a couple times, I know I can't get through it a third time for an LP without getting burned out and just, like, giving up entirely. There are a couple annoying parts, one being getting enough sun miles to access the Adabat Day stage, which is a freaking nightmare because of the amount they need. One thing I will give to the Wii and PS2 version, you don't need medals, they're optional. And then, the second annoying thing being Eggman Land. But hey, at least I can get under an hour. But you know it takes me more than a half an hour. Actually, last time I played through it, it took me 45 minutes. Either or, Sonic Unleashed to be coming up soon. Hopefully that will be the next LP I start. And I actually do plan on starting that very soon, since I have everything ready to go. I have my capture card, I downloaded basically upgraded software so that it's having a little problem with the recording over the component with the Wii but either or this new software is also an upgrade meaning higher quality thanks to higher video bitrate for those that do not know all this techno mumbo jumbo basically hopefully the video is just going to be a much higher quality, especially since Sonic Unleashed output outputs 1080p and I can record 1080p 60 frames per second. Even though it probably won't make much of a difference considering YouTube down converts question mark, I don't know the correct term. Basically, they turn it from 60 frames to 30. I am amazed that they are supporting 4K resolution when nothing really uses 4K, yet they won't get to work on supporting 60 frames per second. What the heck, YouTube? And again, everything on that side's bass backwards. They fix things that aren't broken just to break things, and then they ignore them. Anyways, yeah. 
Jarrett, Sonic, Alicia LP. Look forward to that very soon. Next order of business would be... I have on my Wii a nice slew of Brawl replays I have saved over the months since at least once a week or so. Jughead organizes brawls and whenever he's in charge, there's always something that's going to be going on. So I have accumulated a nice mass of replays and like Jughead, I'm going to put together a compilation video. So. Get ready for some very amusing, uh, and I mean amusing, moments. Um, of course, since Jughead hosts all the rooms, you're going to see me and Jughead there, of course. Because, well, we're really the two. Well, it's his room, and then I recorded these sets. And then Yo Schiller, After Dumb, Shruby, Seth Roth, those type of people. Maybe Kilo. And Mike. So, yeah. Uh, brawl compilation soon to come. I just have to record all of those and then toss them into Vegas and boom. Funny compilation that will provide you amusement for I don't know how long. If it's anything like the Worms Reload highlights on the Legends channel, hopefully they will provide you with moments that will stick in your head. And therefore you will never forget and always be laughing. Anyways, so what else is there? What else? Uh, speaking of Legend of Free Time, I guess, I am working on the LP for the Legend channel, that being Sonic Rush on the Nintendo DS. I am halfway through the game. I guess the big problem is, as much as I like gaming, I can really only play through a game once. Having to do it more than once, it's sort of burns me out way too fast to the point where I'll only play for a few minutes and then I don't want to even touch the game for at least another few months. However, I am trying to pull through Sonic Unleashed considering I have passed the hardest part of the game, that being Special Stage 7. Seriously, it can go right to... But anyways... Um, yeah, so Sonic playthrough is pretty much done, just need to record Blaze, which is just a straight run, since she gets all of her emeralds after being a boss, which is very nice. So, Sonic Generations will be, not Generations, Rush, will be going up on the Legends channel, I don't know when, when, hopefully within the next month or two. Um, speaking of the Legends channel, I will, if you noticed... They are doing Pokemon LPs by generation. They did Fire Red and Leaf Green for Gen 1. They're doing Harko and Still Silver now for Gen 2. I shall be joining them for Gen 3. So, hopefully over the summer we'll start working on Pokemon 3rd generation. And yeah, I'll try to pull through that. Considering, even though I do have a copy of Emerald, I never really did beat it all the way through. So... Hopefully I won't get burned out that fast, considering I haven't really played through the game, so I find games more amusing the first time you play through them. Uh, speaking of Pokemon, Pokemon 6th Generation was announced not too long ago, really excited for that. However, as much as a Pokemon fan I am, I guess even though I really do like the series, for some reason it burns me out so fast I can't keep myself enthralled in it. Example being Pokemon Black and White 2, I got that launch, I'm still not done with the game. I haven't touched it, I don't have any motivation to go back touch it, I get bored with that game so much, somewhat fast. However, it could just be because you play through Black and White once, and then Black and White 2 is practically the same thing, but just... A little bit remix. It's like if someone draws a maze and you complete it, and then your friend takes it and erases some lines and say here, or and probably draws like a few more lines at the other end or something to make it only slightly different and say here do it again. It's not going to be as enjoyable, which is also probably why for each Pokemon game I only have, you know one real entry into it. Like, I have Emerald, but I don't have Ruby or Sapphire. No point. It'll just burn me out. I have Platinum, but I don't have Diamond and Pearl. 
uh, well, aside from that, I'm hoping 6th generation revitalizes. I know I can get through 6th gen considering it's entirely new, brand new. And if you've seen the announcement trailer, it's really like a gigantic reboot of the series. It doesn't even look the same anymore. So, hopefully that will... Yeah, I hopefully can do a LP or playthrough on my channel. I'd love to do it, considering how different and how new it is. So, hopefully, maybe look forward to that. I do not know 100% if I will, but I am giving that project some thought. Speaking of projects, last thing we're going to touch on is my secret project. Wait, actually, I lied. There's one more thing I want to touch on after the secret project. Was the secret project? It's a secret. But what I can tell you is it's not going to be commencing anytime soon, unfortunately. Reason being is that the secret project is going to require me to get some more games for a particular console. The problem is the games I want to do for said project are... I guess more so than anything else, just giant collectors I am, and therefore will cost me an arm and a leg in addition to almost everything I own. Okay, that's probably an exaggeration. Um, half of what I own. So as much as I'd want to start the secret project and start that off first, unfortunately I cannot because I don't have the materials, because I don't have the financing for that. But... I do have a secret project in mind, and the only thing I will say is the aim of the secret project is to open up the eyes of some retro gamers. And the, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for now For on that. When will it begin? No clue. I'm aiming to start that at the second half of this year, maybe last quarter, last half to last quarter. Last half to last quarter of this year. Jeez, I cannot talk this tonight. Let's see, what else? Oh, so I guess the last thing I want to touch on is streaming. Because this capture card is amazing, and I'm toying around with different software. On a random basis, I will be streaming random stuff. Rather it be at the custom track worldwide on Mario Kart to maybe s online and Sonic All-Star Racing Transform, excuse me, or maybe random Dreamcast games like Crazy Taxi or Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, when I do stream, I will try to upload a video on YouTube just so it will show up in your sub box that says I am streaming. I make an announcement. Knowing how broken YouTube is, I'll make the announcement, and right when I finish streaming, that's when it'll show up in everyone's boxes. Not that uploading a video will probably be any better, but hey, I'll try. So, yeah. Ooh, one last thing I want to touch on before I forget, because I just now remembered about this after looking over my shoulder. My dad found this video upscaler box, and for as expensive as it was back then, or whenever he got it, or how much it's worth, it does a pretty good job, although I'm not 100% satisfied. Basically what this does is you plug in a composite or 2S videos, it has 2S video ins. Ironically, it has more than more connectors of the type of plug I unfortunately don't use or have. Sad face. Anyways, so yeah, you uh, plug in Composer S video signal and then it outputs um, VGA or component and it also upscales. I guess how it does it scans each line and doubles it. So yeah, upscaling. What this does is it allows, the gen it boosts up the Genesis resolution to the point where the capture card can actually capture it, and it actually works. Which means something that's below 240p, although probably, I'm not sure it's going to show up on recorded video since I haven't tried. Uh, 
doing a capture test, but I can say on my TV it looked terrible. Well, what happens when you take a video signal that's below 240p and blow it up to 720p? Mm. But um, that's probably just trying to f more so f have the TV, the TV auto adjust so it fills up the screen. Whereas on well, the capture software, I'm pretty sure it's probably only go up to 640 by 480 for the Genesis, and therefore it will look much better. Um, so yeah, Genesis I can now record from thanks to this device. Really excited for that, and hopefully other retro dev consoles as well, as I am becoming a, such a giant retro gaming fan. Um, consoles I plan to add next to my con collection are the NES, SNES, and Master System. And since those all output composite, really low resolution composite, this device will really be beneficial because I just plug in the console in there, it upscales the picture, and it actually turns out nice, at least on the preview window of my capture software. So yay, I can actually record every console I own on the original hardware because of this machine. Um, well, except for the DS, I lied there. I don't have anything to record. Well, actually, no, the capture card on the 3DS, I can use to record that, too. And if I ever get the cable for the PSP, then I can record that, too. Wait, actually, the only console I'm going to be able to record then is just the Neo Geo Pocket Color and Game Gear. I'm not too concerned about that because of how low power they are. An emulator will do them justice. As for everything else, I'd much rather record off the actual hardware. Or the derivative of the actual hardware. So Game Boy Advance, I should probably get that Game Boy Reader for the GameCube. So yeah. I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this update. So thank you for listening. I hope to see you again soon, and yeah, LP's coming up really soon, a lot of projects in mind. Um, probably the first thing I'm going to start working on for the channel is probably going to be Sonic Unleashed, most likely, so look forward to that soon. If not, a Brawl compilation. If not, I don't know. I will do something soon. So, until then, I'll see you guys later.